Today, using the power of Figma, we're going to redesign Apple Music to not suck. We're gonna take it from this to this. Spotify has come in and taken their entire market. They used to be the kings of digital music. If you remember iTunes, that was all there was. iTunes was the thing. I believe this is partially due with how bad Apple Music's app is. It's, it's pretty, pretty bad. bad. I took the time and redesigned the Apple Music app to try to improve it a little bit for all humankind. I'm going to walk you through some of the improvements I would suggest for the Apple Music app and my redesign. But first, let me show you just some of the problems I have when trying to use this thing every single day. This is what it looks like when I first open this app. And this is my biggest problem right here. I'm just so confused. I don't find that it's really what I want when I open the app. I don't listen to Vampire Weekend. I don't want to listen to an interview. I just want to listen to my music. Then it's got Vampire Weekend again. I don't listen to Vampire Weekend. Why does it think I want Vampire Weekend so much? Grace and Sensation. That sounds good. And then it gets into some weird stuff like acoustic. I don't want to listen to acoustic. I don't know any of these bands. Right off the bat, you open this thing and there's just so much that I don't really care for and I don't really want. What I do like is this thing I hear at the bottom. You can just tap this thing and get right into the last song that you were listening to. That's perfect. That's really what I want. Then the bottom row, it just gets worse. <laughs> so you've got this browse tab. This is like to try to find new music. I'm assuming this is like top 100 music. I don't listen to any of this. It's not relevant for me. You got radio. Who listens to the radio? No one listens to the radio. It's freaking 2020 something. Like I don't need a radio tab at all. And then even search like, what is all of this? I just want to search. I don't need a search page. I could go on and on about how much I hate this app. <laughs> but instead of just ranting for the rest of this video, let me just go ahead and show you my version of the app. So what you're looking at right now is Figma. Figma is like a design tool like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, something like that. It's not Adobe owned. They tried that, it didn't go over well. <laughs> I took this screenshot and I just thought like, what would I want to see done differently? So I made a sort of a wireframe, basically just a plan of like, what you're gonna do. What were the things that I would want right off the bat instantly? What I like the most is this little bar down here that has what you were last listening to. I'm usually just gonna press play wherever I left off. I was thinking I would put something like that here. I would call it like start where you left off and it'd be a big card, nice and big. I'd keep it down at the bottom where your thumb already is from opening the app. Just make it a lot bigger with more controls so you can get started right away. The next reason why I would open up Apple Music or any music app is to search or look up a song. So instead of having the search over here as a whole separate tab, I think that we should just add a search bar right at the top. And it should just always be right there at the top. I also had an idea that like, what if we had the notch or like the dynamic island on the iPhone, that big black bar at the top. What if we had that have Shazam? So it shows what's playing in the room you're in. So let's say you're like in a coffee shop and Taylor Swift is playing. It would just have that right here already so you could tap on this, open it up, and add that song to your library. The next thing that I think I would be looking for when opening up the app would be my playlist, like my most recently played playlist or my favorite playlist. So I went ahead and added that too, right there at the top of the three top playlists that I have. Then I thought it would be fun if we had some sort of like friend integration where you could have your friends and you see what they're listening to. You could have your friend stations. So if they're listening to something right now at you could hop in and like see what they're listening to, join their radio station. No one listens to the radio, it's freaking 20, 20 something. Like, no one listens to the radio. And it can show like they've got like 10 listeners, kind of like a popularity contest for high schoolers. Probably a bad idea, but I don't know. <laughs> and then lastly, I really wanted to rethink the navigation bar down here. I don't see any reason for the browse tab or the radio tab or the library or the search. <laughs> I think we can simplify this down to just the home, liked songs, your playlist, and then your friends. I think that's all you need. So with this strong plan in mind, I went and I made it. One of the ideas I had for this is I would like to see it where you have like a pin playlist. So you can see I added this little pin icon there. And normally if you ask Siri 
to play you some music, she'll be like, yeah, sure, here's a station just for you. So I made this little Apple Music made just for you playlist. I think like me personally, I would pin that to the front, but you could pin whatever playlist you want to the front and you could pin as many playlists as you want. After a playlist section, I wanted to do that little idea over here where I had the friends and you could see like what they're listening to. This is how that came out. Uh, <laughs> The album cover is the background and you can see their your friend's profile picture here. Whew. This one didn't turn out exactly how I was hoping. I had to scratch that just completely. I got rid of that and I took another shot at it. This is inspired from the iMessage app. When you have someone pinned to the top of your phone and they send you a text, it kind of looks like this. And I really liked how this came out. One of the important things for me here was I didn't want it to be album focused. And that's why I was struggling with that first version. Like this could have made sense if it was just the album here and it said Kane Station, but I wanted to have his profile picture there because I felt like that was really important to distinguish that this isn't just like playing a song, this is hopping in and listening with your friends. Which is why I really like how this came out. I've got these red dots here which show like if they're live, like they're actively listening to the station, you can hop right in. And then I've got his like grayed out here because like maybe that was a station that he was broadcasting earlier. You could go back and re-listen to it, but it's not live right now. I think this is a really fun idea and I I would love to see this on the homepage. But I know what you're thinking. Grayson, I don't have any friends. Don't worry, it's okay, because I also made an alternative. So let's say you just got an iPhone, you don't have any friends on your Apple Music app, or you don't have any friends in general. Well, instead, I also made this. So kind of using that other like concept I had with the bars, I made concerts near you. So this shows all the concerts within your vicinity based off who you listen to. Let's say you're a big Bad Bunny fan, that's gonna pop up at the top. And even though Post Malone's happening sooner, Bad Bunny you listen to a lot of, we know you wanna go see his concert. So that's popped up right there at the top. You can hit tickets, it will open up a menu, go to Ticketmaster, book it. You could hit this arrow, open up a whole nother page where you can see all the concerts near you. I think this would be a really fun feature to have. I think that would be super cool. Now I know what you're saying. <laughs> I don't have any friends because I live in a rural area with no concerts either. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I can't, I, this is as far as I got. See, this is everything. But like in general, my idea is the middle section could flex and it could show you different things at different times. So if you don't have any friends that are live broadcasting their music at the moment, then it could show you concerts. If there's no concerts near you, it could show you something else. So it can kind of flex based off what Apple thinks that you want to see at that current moment. Underneath that, we have the big start where you left off button. So again, that's taking this little tiny thing and just making it nice and big, very reminiscent of the lock screen controls right now. So it's very familiar and you don't even have to open that up into a bigger screen. You can just open up Apple Music and use it right away. So you're probably wondering, Grayson, if you hate Apple Music so bad, then why do you use it? Well, I don't hate it that much, okay? It's actually really nice. I kind of love everything about Apple Music except for like some quirks of the app. The sound quality is way better. It integrates with the Apple ecosystem and Siri and my AirPods and all that stuff. I think it's great. There's just a couple opportunities where we can improve this app. Let me know in the comments below if you use Apple Music or if you use Spotify. And if you haven't met me, my name is Grayson. I post every single week on... <clears throat> I hit myself with the Sharpie. If you haven't met me, my name is Grayson. I post every single week on this channel, some sort of interesting design video. So if you liked this video, hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to my first 10,000 subscribers. I'm really excited about it. And I would love to see you here next week for another video. Until then, peace out.